Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wofferman here with Compu Show Video Manuals. Now, this is not the usual tutorial where it's got the nice screen cap and everything else. I'm doing this on my phone because I got three different things I'm going to show you. First, we have the DMX Operator 384, which is right now on DMX mode, okay? We have Compu Show running with the latest official version, and we have an ADJ Sweeper Beam. Now, I want to show you something really cool, and, and this part has been going on in Compu Show for a while, right? So, for example, we have uh, just a show here, okay? And you could actually use the DMX in so you could dim stuff in and out, right? So I could actually map a fader to control a light. So if you don't have a MIDI board and you're using a DMX board, you could use your old school style DMX board to fade in and out. Now I currently don't have this mapped, but easily done. Now the way that I would do that is I would just right click or I can actually go into my uh, console, okay? We're just going to add just something simple, right? So we're just going to do... Let's say a 12 channel DMX. There it is right there. We're gonna right click on the dimmer. Okay. Link, click the console window. And there it is right there, okay? Now all I gotta do is right click here, go to console setup, and DMX, we're gonna say DMX universe one and fader number one. Now this DMX universe, or this DMX in, excuse me, now controls that virtual board. Pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and delete that because that is not what this video is about. But look at that. You already got a tutorial that you can play with right away. So we're just going to go ahead and unassign this. And it is no longer applicable. Now go ahead and open up a new scene. So we're going to go to button and we're going to click on new switch. And we're gonna call. We're gonna have it empty. We're gonna call it DMX in. Now, Compu Show has a pretty cool feature now, which allows you to record or it has DMX input and allows you to record DMX just by clicking the DMX in. So I could actually sit there and record shows from maybe another program, or if you have, let's say, uh, a ventilation show designer, you cannot import your shows into Compu Show, and all you got to do is literally drag and drop each channel to the corresponding channel onto your CompuShow mapping. So even if the channels aren't the same, you can patch them however you want. But that's not what this tutorial is about. Let's shut off the DMX record. Right now, this is just set to input channels. So you can see there as I bring it, it goes up and down, okay? What I wanna do is, I'm gonna move fader one to my tilt. We're gonna do DMX channel two to the dimmer fader and DMX channel three to the strobe. And now we are going to hit yes to save. Now I have right now just a uh, basic color changing or a color program right here. Okay. When I bring this up, you'll see that it moves. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up there. So now I can actually control my lights live doing this. Now, what is the difference between this control and what I just showed you that when I shut this off, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so I can now go into dimmer and have a different control there. If I want to control it with the DMX board, I just bring this up here. Now, there's my cat, by the way. He's going absolutely bonkers. That's Munch. Munch, say hi. Say hi, Munch. He's a pretty Munch. Anyways, why is this important? Well, because the sweeper beam is a beautiful fixture. Just like many of the pixel mapping fixtures out there, you can load it into CompuShow. You can do some really cool effects using the rect. Make sure you watch my tutorial on that to make a cool matrix wall. But you know, there's so much more that you could do than just CompuShow as far as the matrix wall. Because let's say you have 20 or 30 of these, okay? Or let's say you have the dots matrix and you wanna be able to use CompuShow to control the colors on the fly if you wanted to. Or let's say you want an advanced video pixel mapping control using the Easy Cling. This is going to allow me to take a program such as uh, LED Master or Media Master Express, Media Master Pro, even Madrix, and I'm going to convert it to run on this. Now, if you have enough familiar with this box, this is actually really cool because I could take this into, let's say, for example, a dots matrix, and it would convert ClingNet into DMX. But you can't do it with that because you still have pan and tilt and everything else. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to convert ClingNet 
to run on this. So basically, we're going to be able to run cling net in and out of this, and we'll be able to control the pan and tilt movements. This is also going to allow me to use my dots matrix because it, on my master page, I have tons of programs for my dots matrix, but I'm going to make a patch button just like that. So then it no longer sees copy show. It sees the easy cling. So now I can run both at the same time. Basically, this is a built-in DMX merger. And to me, for software, this is a game changer. you got to stay tuned for the next video. Check it out. Again, my name is Ronaldo Waffman with CompuShow Video Manuals. I am beyond excited to show you this feature. It is currently out in the current beta. Guys, if you have any questions, please make sure to share with your friends. Tell everybody to check out my videos if they use CompuShow. And I also have videos on these guys right here. Just go to masterschooldances.com. Again, masterschooldances.com. Click on tutorials and you'll see plenty of tutorials on Arceus, CompuShow, and CleanNet. Thank you guys so much. Good night and God bless.